All right, hello everybody. We are here in a 2018 Nissan Versa from Hertz, which apparently is Hertz's idea of a mid-sized car. But uh, yeah, we are outside of Jackson, Tennessee. This journey actually started just uh, west of Memphis, about half an hour from here. I'm at a gas station, kind of by the airport. And basically the routine has become for me that I start out in western Memphis, drive about half hour, 45 minutes to Jackson, and then fly a little airline, which you should be familiar with if you watch my channel, Air Choice One, back to St. Louis. It certainly beats the uh, five hours or so down the highway. Anyway, it's a pretty cool trip that I've done many times, and today I'm going to take you along. But first we've got to put some gas in this rental car. So yeah, that's the Nissan Versa. Not my favorite car, a lot of quirks to it. Somehow for a small car, the steering wheel just feels so far away. It doesn't really adjust very much either. The other thing that's driving me crazy is that there's an armrest on this side that is so much higher than the armrest on this side. So it feels like when you're driving, you're just leaning sideways like this all the time. <laughs> Not my favorite rental car. All right, so we're coming up to the airport here, and on the way in, I thought I might just explain a little bit about why this is a thing, since I'm guessing it's gonna come up as a question in the comments a bit, too. So basically, work puts me down on the very far eastern side of Memphis uh, on a pretty regular basis, and we have a company policy where you're not really supposed to drive more than four hours to reach a work location. So, from St. Louis to that side of Memphis is pretty easily five hours, not even including a stop. Whereas uh, driving from there to this airport in Jackson, Tennessee is about 45 minutes, plus an hour on the ground, plus, you know, an hour in the air and an hour to get a home, let's say. It's not really a big time saver, but it's cheap at 40 bucks each way. It's a lot easier on me. And statistically speaking, it's actually quite a bit safer, too. So it makes the company happy, it makes me happy, and it doesn't really cost anybody much money that's involved. It's worked out quite nicely, too. Air Choice One runs a very reliable service out of here. So we're going to take a look now at the, I guess it's pronounced McKellar Sipes Regional Airport. Been here a lot, but I've never actually been to Jackson. And yes, this is the entrance to the airport. <laughs> this is not a big place, as you're soon about to see. Very pretty through here, though, with these trees. Just in general, this is a very well-kept little airport. And you can see the airfield over there. We're actually, as you can see by the uh, height clearance sign there, this is one of the runways that we're going by, right on the other side of this chain link fence. The smaller of the two, they cross. So there's the runway. And then as we keep going down here, you will see the passenger terminal. I think this larger building here is the, uh, the FBO, so for the private aircraft that come in and out. And then I guess we'll actually be parking right next to the Air Choice One van. Because I think that's a rental, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a rental car return spot. It's kind of ambiguous the way these signs are. So there is an on-site Hertz. I love the Air Choice One van right next to me here. And then that is the actual airport over there. That little bitty thing is a terminal. But it's so nice and well kept. You can see how uh, the gardening is all nice, the grounds are all nice. It's really a very nice little airport. Now this Hertz is a little old school, so I gotta fill out some paperwork with my mileage and such before I get inside.
what was going on. Yeah. Is he really the same thing? I was like, what's going on? Doesn't Trump have his own plane? I'm sure he does. Doesn't he have several planes? That would have been NASA. Yeah. Just the Air Force one. Yeah, it would have been cool. Well, some that we were, I was like, I don't normally see fire trucks on the car now. But I guess it's if something happens or... Um, The diesel, the glow plug. Then. I get well. I have a tractor. I like yeah. to mow. Should be the mom that mows the engine. Because I love to mow. She's the one who went with me when I trained. Yeah. I, I trained for like seven weeks. Yeah. The last time. That's a long time to be away from your house. Yeah. And I came home, especially when you have like 27 cats and five dogs and horses, and I came home and I was like, Ugh. it took me. I swear, it took me six months to clean that one house up. Oh, he has one. Until, until you don't do job. it. Oh my gosh. And I was like, what? Do you want to do it? Come on, appropriate. Everyone. 